Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm keeping it local today. A place I've not really explored much over the years. I did work here for six months once. But I brought you to the borough of Kingston-upon-Thames. The ancient Kingston-upon-Thames. A place where England started, apparently. This is All Saints Church. There's been a church on this site since Saxon times. Very, very ancient church. And it appears to be open, so uh, let's go and have a look. It's open, hooray. People in here doing bits and pieces. Yeah, construction of the church you see around began in the 12th century. Been much changed and added. There was a big um, restoration in the Victorian era. Nice little cafe. Get a coffee. special about this place is King Athelstan, the Anglo-Saxon king, united all the kingdoms, Wessex, Mercia, all into one kingdom, the kingdom of Angles land, Angles land, England. So there's been some Saxon kings being coron uh, had coronations here. We're going to look at the coronation stone in a minute. Whether they're actually used for coronations, no one really knows. I don't think it probably was. It was found in the rubble of the old St Mary's Chapel, uh, which is adjoining this church. So yeah, it's nice to come into a church. It's all vibrant and things happening. It's really cool. Yeah, the chapel of St Mary collapsed in 1730 and that, as I said, that's where they found this coronation stone which is now down at the Guild Hall. Um, yeah, it's debated, it's a little bit debated whether England really did start here, the modern, the modern kingdom of England, did it start here? I'd like to think so. There you go the previous church, St Mary's, which was in ruins in 1730, stood here. In it were portraits of Saxon kings, crowned by Archbishops of Canterbury at Kingston. Okay. It's so six foot long and 25 feet wide, with walls two feet, six inches thick. Yeah, there we go. This marks the site of the east wall of the Saxon church of St Mary's. Partly rebuilt in 1936 with its own stones, the wall was 25 feet long and 2 feet inches thick, as I said. <laughs> there we go. All Saints Joseph remained at the heart of Kingston life over many centuries. In 925, Athelstan, the first king of England, was crowned in a church on this site, the place where England began. Got all these chimp uh, sculptures everywhere I go. Very cool. his little passage. I lost my bearings a bit, heading down to the Guild Hall and I'll show you the uh, Coronation Stone, Clapper Bridge.
There it is, the coronation stone. Probably lost in time. Old Sarsen stone, as they found in the remains of the old chapel, St Mary's. Yeah. Yeah, the coronation stone. The coronation stone is a block of sarsen, a type of sandstone not found locally. Could have been part of an old stone circle, we don't know. It may have been brought here on purpose and could have been a significant object to people of the past. Early historians in the 16th and 17th centuries mentioned the traditions of the crowning of Saxon kings in Kingston. Traditionally, at least seven kings were said to have been crowned here. Edward the Elder, Athelstan, Edmund, Eldred, Edwy, Edward and Ethelred, known as the Unready and that was in 979 AD. Absolutely fascinating. Well, let's go and look at Clatton Bridge. Clatton Bridge was put over the Hogsmill River, which I've been walking recently, sometime before 1200. So that makes it really old, probably about the same age as the Tilford Bridges, the medieval Tilford Bridges over at Waverley. The original stone arches can still be seen. Known as the Clattering Bridge from the noisy horses made crossing over it. <laughs> There you go, Clatton Bridge. Over 1,000 years of history nearly. The lovely Rose Theatre. Somebody works in theatre, it's nice to see. Yeah, the Hogsmill Valley Walk. Obviously we've done lots of this. This is Shrub's Hole Passage. There's a great mural of the history of Kingston on the wall here. It's really quite interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go over Kingston Bridge. There's been a bridge here since Saxon times. Uh, this one's, I think, from the 1700s. I've reinforced since then, of course. We're on the Thames Path. Hmm. I've driven over this bridge hundreds of times, but never walked it. And on a gloriously beautiful day like today, it's perfect. I'm not using my big camera today, I'm on the GoPro 11. Uh, just as less conspicuous, me walking around with a gigantic camera and mic. So I'm going straight into the 11. No external mic, straight into the media mod. It's all right. This is Barge Walk on the other side of the river. Goes down towards Hampton Court. That way to Teddington, Hampton Wick. Yeah. Little walk down, have a quick look. Might be worth doing a, a whole video on this little walk, actually. Yep, we're on the Thames Path. much quieter this side of the river so much quieter good old father Thames we got a uh, lunch booked in where is it the plough just over there just by the river which would be nice
It's really nice. I've just been sitting here for about 15 minutes, just taking in the vibe. I mean, the busy bridge is just over there. But it's nice to sit here with the barges, look out onto the promenade opposite. Very peaceful. As we walk back, I thought we'd just go under the bridge. No real reason, just let's go under the bridge. <laughs> okay. Good one bit a bit silhouetted here. Yeah. Underneath Kingston Bridge. We're back the other side on the promenade. And having lunch in the Bishop in a minute. It'll be lovely. And there's a barge going across, isn't that cool? What a lovely area to stroll. The promenade, all the barges just moored up. That's where we were just now. And barge walk. Lovely. And right here is the confluence of the Hogsmill River as it goes into the River Thames here at Kingston upon Thames. Very cool. Did like the River Wandle eventually goes out into the Thames. before lunch we'll have a walk down the promenade a little bit further see what's there residential area I mean riverfront property right on the Thames at Kingston how much do I say go for Whew. Enough of this messing about on the river, it's time for lunch. So a lovely lunch in the plough. That concludes our little visit to Kingston upon Thames, the birth of England. Debatable, I think it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.